Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of CS Card iZico Payment Gateway. Now this magnificent add-on allows the users or the customers of the website to use iZico Payment to purchase products at their end. The Payment Gateway allows the site owners to receive payments from the users and this allows boosting of the site with a complete payment success rate developing transparency of trust and confidence. Now can you note that this particular add-on is well integrated with the CS Card and CS Card multi-vendor. It has the functionality of 3D square pay payment there. The option to pay in installments are also available at the user's end as per the installment payment condition and the feature of BKM Express connectivity at payment form is also available. So in today's video tutorial, I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the customer's end and the admin's end. At the customer's end, I'll be showing you how the customer can make use of the iZico payment method to pay for his order and at the admin's end I'll be showing you the initial configuration settings for this one and the uh, process of adding the payment method from the admin backend itself. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the CS Card uh, website web store front end and what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you the workflow at the customer's end first. So as a customer what I can do is I can uh, add any of the products to the cart. So let's add this particular product to the cart and let's make a checkout thereafter. Now I'm already logged into my customer account as you can see from this particular section. So that's why I'm uh, directly uh, transferred or we are seeing the shipping options there. Now here after selecting the shipping option, we'll find the uh, billing uh, options wherein we'll be able to make use of the iZico payment uh, gateway. So here under the credit card, I'll go to the iZico payment method. Now here we have already provided you some test card numbers using which you can uh, test this particular instance out. So uh, let's proceed further as a customer and let's place the order using the iZico payment method itself. So here after selecting the payment method, uh, we'll be scrolling down and we'll be checking this particular option here and we'll be tapping on the submit my order button. Now you can see that we are being redirected to the iZico payment gateway and here you can see that we have the BCM Express or the BKM Express actually and the option to make use of the card details there to make the payment in the Turkish Lira. So what we need to do is we need to enter our customer name, enter the card number, enter the uh, details there for the expiry of the card enter the CVV number and here you can see that we have two different options as well one is the functionality of the 3d secure payment so you can check this option for the 3d secure payment and you also have this option to pay in installments uh, and this is available to the users uh, at uh, the uh, checkout time and uh, this option is basically used to pay in installments and are available at the user end as per the installment payment condition at the checkout time. So the uh, customers can make use of the installments as well and can make use of the 3D secure payment as well. After that, you need to tap here on the pay button there and this will basically complete the process there using the iZico payment gateway itself using your credit card there. So in a few seconds from now, you can see that the order would be placed so you can see that uh, congratulations your order has been placed successfully and from here we can check the order details as well to check the order details i can tap here on the order details button and this would bring up the details of the order that we have just placed so we had placed the order for this product there here you can see the payment method uh, chosen by the customer as iZico payment method and the total payment that was made by the customer was for 225 dollars and 44 cents there so this was the workflow at the customer's end. Now let's check the workflow at the admin's end. Uh, so for that, we'll go to the admin backend panel and we'll be entering the email and the password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. Now to check the details of this particular order that was just placed by the customer, we can go to orders and view orders. Here's the order number 127 that we have just placed. I'll just tap on that and that will bring up the details of the order here. On the right hand side, we have the payment information as you can see and under the payment information you can see the method that was chosen by the customer for making this payment was iZico payment uh, 
method the order status is complete the payment id is there the card type uh, is credit card and the card family name is also visible there and the card association is also visible there to the admin there so this was the workflow on the customers and how the customers can place the orders using the cs card izigo payment gateway there from the store front end for the orders uh, that they want to purchase and how the admin can view the particular order and check the payment information for the respective order there now let's check the initial configuration settings for this particular add-on so for that what we need to do is we need to navigate to add-ons and manage add-ons here i'll be searching for izico and the izico payment gateway handles checkout payments with 3v security and also provides payment in installments there to the customers so here I'll tap on the gear icon and then on the settings option. Now under the settings for the Izico payment gateway, here you can see that the very first option that we have is the mode. So here we can choose the testing mode or the live or the production mode. If I choose it as testing mode, then we need to enter the test API ID and the test secret key. Now kindly note that you must be having an account at the Izigo payment gateway and thereafter you will have to generate your uh, API ID and the secret key there and the same can then be used within the configuration settings here for the Izigo payment gateway itself. Now if you've chosen this option uh, for the mode as live then this particular uh, plugin would work in the live or the production mode and then you'll have to enter the live API ID and the live secret key for the same. And then you need to tap here on the save button to save the configuration settings. So this was the initial configuration settings after the successful installation of this plugin in your store there. Now how to add a payment method for the Izigo. For that what you need to do is you need to go to administration and under administration you need to navigate to payment methods. Here uh, you'll find the complete list of payment methods that you've already created. To add a new payment method, you need to tap here on the add payment method. And here for the new payment method, you have to set up the name, the processor, the template, the payment category, and the rest of the options there. After entering these details here, you have to tap on the create button. And then what uh, will happen is that you'll also get one more setting tab here, uh, just next to the general uh, tab. Now let me show you, I've already created the new payment method using this procedure here. So I'll show you what different options need to be selected for that uh, particular uh, payment method. So that's the CS card Izico payment gateway. For that, I'll go to Izico payment method and I'll open it up. So here you can see that we have the general and the configure button. The general uh, button is initially there. After you have saved the particular uh, payment method, you will get the configure button as well. Now under the name, you have to set up the name that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time uh, before uh, selecting the payment method there under the payment method section. Then you have to choose the processor as Izico payment gateway outside. Then you have to choose the template as cc underscore outside dot tpl. You have to choose the payment category as credit card. And then you can enable this particular payment method for all user groups, guests, registered users, or any of the uh, the uh, other groups that you've already created within your store. If you want to give some description, you can give a description for the uh, Izico payment method. You can set up the surcharge if any applicable, set up the surcharge title. If you want, you can also apply the tax uh, to the uh, thing there. Then you have the payment instructions. Uh, this is the payment instruction that we were uh, checking out uh, when we just placed the order as a customer there. So under the payment instructions, you can provide the particular payment instructions uh, to your customers there. Uh, that should be uh, in accordance with the payment uh, method there. You can also upload an icon for the payment method there from your local uh, desk or your server or fr from a URL there as per your own requirement. Now after setting these up, then come to the configure section. Hey, uh, can you note that uh, please ensure that uh, the Turkish Lira currency should be configured in your store. Only then this particular plugin will work uh, efficiently there. Now here we have two different options under the configure tab. One is the order status for success state and the save Izico response. Now for the order status for uh, success state, here you have to choose the order status when Izico response will be success. That is the payment will be credited to your account there. So you can choose as per your own requirement there. So the order status for the success state has to be selected from this particular section. Then we have the save Izico response. So here you have to select yes to save the Izico transaction response 
and the order details page of the backend as I already showed you within the orders section there and uh, thereafter you just need to tap here on the save button to save the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin that's the CS card IGO payment gateway so yes that was much about the IGO payment method or the IGO payment gateway add-on and I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.tv.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead